Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, Mike from Muppet Modeler here and before we get started as always I would like to say a massive massive thank you to all the subscribers, new and existing. Um, without you guys, as I keep saying, and I will continue to keep saying, this channel would not be possible. Uh, there's no point making videos or uploading anything if people aren't watching, so um, yeah, thank you very much. It's really, 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 really appreciated. Thank you. On the bench again, we have the P51 Mustang. I'm going to do a bit more today. I don't know how much at the moment. I have to go out in a little bit. But I um, would like to get a few things sorted, a few things fitted. I've just sprayed inside the um, the two vents there Just going to have to take a bit off the sound a bit off the front there, I think. If I can. sand I think I can get that even better actually if I take this off a bit get this to sit down a little bit more because it should but at the moment it's just needs a little bit of persuasion I think so a little better with like this side still needs a little bit of coaxing I think take the top the end off of this bit taking five minutes or ten minutes or a couple of minutes or whatever sometimes just to get a piece to fit properly is worthwhile there we go look at that still could do with sitting down a little bit more
just needs, just needs a little bit of a, an assist. It will locate, it just needs a, like I say, a bit of gentle persuasion. As if to say, you are going in. Whether you like it or not, if it isn't bad, there'll be a bit of a seam line to uh, address. But as I said in the last video, the uh, the fit on this really is good compared to a lot of Revell kits I've seen, heard about, and read, and about, and the one or two that I've made myself. Come on in. I think I can remove the tape now. Remember to save it though, it can be used again. Oh, let's get this one.
need to do a little bit of filling and sanding on the leading edge of the wings but nothing too drastic by the looks of it well, I haven't got a um, a riveter I'll rub this down later on I haven't got a riveter to be able to put the rivets back in but the um, the rivets were actually raised detail so I couldn't do that anyway unless I rub them all off this bit to go in that goes in there What a lovely fit that is, that bit. Some glue around there. It's basically just the front of the wheel bay. Hope you can see that alright. Right, then the next panel is I-122. It's clear, so this way. sometimes it helps if you look in the box properly. and snugly and that goes on there it's in there like so
again another nice fit Obviously, the tape again that I saved comes in handy. where you can guys saves a lot of money right then guys so we'll move on it now here um, part build part 42 it shows the piece you need if you're having the, the undercarriage up obviously fl as in flying the plane flying so um, that's all good but I would have thought it would have been like half one side flying the other side not um, as in the plane flying, the plane on the ground but um, you have to wait until three pages later part 58 build part 58 where it says to cut it all up if you're having the wheels down So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be having the wheels down anyway. So I will leave that until part 58. So what we will do is we will move on to the, uh, the vertical and horizontal stabilizers, I believe. Right, let's see. Can we bring in a little bit? Right. So, C 84 and say this uh, plastic on this is soft but it's soft in a good way if you know what I mean probably not I'm probably just talking gibberish but um, Very nice.
That's that one. go too rough on those parts. There they are. Some. Small bits there that I think can come off. nice fit if that stays like that you won't even see a seam line which is good I don't think it needs it, but just put some couple of bits of tape around. Let me do something, just run a little bit of glue down obviously you love the horizontal stabilizer flaps let's go on there and then we have 87 and 89 When gluing, um, I always tend to 
glue the bits with the holes. I think that obviously the, the glue will sit in the hole longer. You may notice the uh, blue tissue down. That is for no other reason than the fact that I bought my son a P51 Airfix kit the other day. And he, he's been out here building bless him you get there one day no, he's not doing too bad might be able to close that fuselage up a bit for him but he's enjoying it so that's all that matters Make that same line a little bit better. A bit flush, a bit more flush if you like. Gotta do the same with this one. looks quite a bit better I need to do a little bit of a little bit of filling in there Maybe a little bit of filling in there, I think. Alright then guys, um, unfortunately I have to go out and do some bits and pieces now, so I'm going to have to pause the video there. And when I come back, we will get the uh, horizontal and horizontal stabilizers in place.
and whatever sections those are well for the uh, the ailerons the main wing flaps so we'll sort out about getting those done and into place and then we're on to the canopy the landing gear propeller um, ordnance if I decide I want to put any on it and then on to the painting lovely so not that much further to go guys not much further for you to uh, suffer for this build so um, yeah I'm going to pause you there and I shall see you again soon back shortly hi right, guys I'm back just taking care of some of the um, joints this really doesn't need doing however this piece here does so because there's no panel line or anything there to ruin however here there is but I've just got to take the plastic down to use a little tool that I found just to carry on that to put the panel line back in Do the same on this side. Job done. To 
be honest, I don't know why I'm worrying too much. It's not a going to be a um, a spot on build, if you like, or one that I'm really looking to show or anything like that. But if we're going to do it, we might as well try and do it right, aren't we? <laughs> I think we need to put a little bit of filler in there. At some point, but it's looking good. It's not looking too shabby, I don't think. Now, I could go back. vents in but I think like I said earlier and what we'll do is we'll move on we need a sprue eye again which will be this one No, that's Bruce C. I oh, can't read, obviously. We need this one. Number been watching a video which was uploaded a little while ago by Rob at Rims Models. He's building the uh, Ryfield Models Panther G with the cutaway hull and turret and I've got to say what a great job he's doing of it. Looks like such a lovely kit as well. Well, it is a lovely kit because I built one myself. But um, his build is coming along a lot better than mine did. And I must say, I'm thoroughly enjoying watching the the build series. really really good so if you get time pop on over to Rob's channel Rims Rims Models and have a look you won't be disappointed I promise you Away. 
down there. Basically, we can put those in, glue them in place, make sure they're horizontal. And then, put those in. And I think put them in at a slight angle. Again, hardly a join, especially on the underneath. But got to keep saying it; it's such a really good fitting kit. Really is really nice. Sorry, I've gone out of shot. I'm just trying to eye it, make sure that they're horizontal. They are the horizontal stabilizers, after all. Hopefully my eyesight's not that bad and it is uh, nice and straight. Lovely.
really really nice really 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 nice revel i commend you on this i really do revel however you want to say it Turn that round out of the way. Where's that? Oh yeah, I don't need that. More rubbish. I uh, cut bits of old sprue up for a base which I haven't used. So. Okay, 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 right. Oh, well, it's starting to rain outside. F108. this piece here really wide connection points on this kit on the sprues 106 Is, hmm, let's just take a second, yeah, because this is if you want that's all right. Well, that's the first horrible bit I've seen really Definitely going to need taking down. Right along the edge, three connection points. Both sides. <laughs> nice. We have this piece on.
and then we find that this goes in there like so. some glue down the inside that way then it's not going to be seen at all Get a nice, nice bit there. One. So then the next part is one oh nine and one oh seven. So I have the six. Connection points on that one, and the five on this piece. Whoa. I did say we would get rain this evening, and they won't rain. And it's meant to be raining not tomorrow, I don't think, but Friday. I think tomorrow is just meant to be very cloudy all day, so I hope so because I want to get back in the shed again. off so that it won't take so much off the with the sanding stick. Idiot, it's got to go in that way. Oh, 
one would assume I think I think it goes I think it goes in this one. So you want to there she goes that'll be there like that the flaps down and this one will be this side like so flat down like that lovely job once they're glued up and the glue's gone off properly what we'll do is we'll put that tail in we'll glue that into place So, oh, but I suppose it would help if you could actually see what I was doing, wouldn't it? So, let's zoom me out a bit. Glue the, the vertical stabilizer into place.
come out what's stuck in That's that. Try and make the glue dry a bit quicker. That will do for me. Later on as well, I'm going to drill out the machine gun holes, or cannon and machine gun holes. But there she is. So uh, that's where we stand at the moment. I'm going to leave it there, let everything set up properly and glue and let the glue dry properly and then when we come back we'll fit the the ailerons the flaps and then it's onto the meat of the build canopy undercarriage Prop and pretty much final assembly. And on to the painting, which I'm really looking forward to, I must say. Slightly different scheme but just before I go for those of you that actually wait to the end of the video I mentioned earlier on a little bit ago about some rubbish and poles that I've used and what I've done, basically, is this. The King Tiger. The Tack on King Tiger, shall I say. I basically mounted it on a bit of a base um, with the, the engine. And the back plate and I'm going to have a couple of a couple of figures stood in the front here um, and I'm also going to do a sign here so it's basically it's like a museum display in a nutshell that's what I came up with, the idea that I came up with, so um, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. 
Oh, and one other thing. Ball turret. Just a little fun thing. A little bit more water added, a little bit of white, which I might actually use a little bit of snow on that, I think. Um, off camera but that I think I don't know if I can show you guys that is a picture that I was sent from a friend of mine uh, let me have a look do, 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 do. don't know might be able to pause it so you can read what it says but basically the B-17 was going to make a belly landing so they <coughs> unattached the, the ball turret and let it fall in the sea so there you go and like I said on that note I'll let you guys go stop boring you and um, Please keep liking, keep commenting, and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.